Well, Mark and Michelle, initially authorities thought this was a domestic violence case, but police are backtracking on that tonight. The shooter had a long history with YouTube, and we found her website with a manifesto about why she's been victimized by the company. My name is Nassime Saps. This is the woman who investigators say is the YouTube shooter, and Asim Agdam is no stranger to the platform. She had multiple pages, tens of thousands of subscribers, and millions of page views. A page in Farsi, Turkish, English, and even a page for animal lovers. She also posted recipes like this vegan butterfly tofu sandwich. But the messages get dark on her webpage and in YouTube videos. She talks about her work being demonetized and her ad revenue getting slashed. YouTube did recently roll out a new advertising policy. It cut revenue for channels with fewer than 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. But according to Ogdom's rants, she shouldn't have lost any money because at least one of her channels had more than 15,000 subscribers. Angry posts and videos reveal her months-long frustration with the company. Neighbors say she lived in this Menifee home with her parents and possibly a husband or boyfriend. John Rundell says the FBI did search the home at some point on Tuesday after the shooting. She hardly came out. I mean, I hardly saw her. I see the father a lot and I've seen some of the grandkids and stuff, but they kind of keep them themselves. Authorities initially said the shooting was a domestic violence case, but sources tell us Ogdom had no relationship with anyone at the YouTube facility. They say she fired 30 or 40 rounds inside the courtyard, and during the chaos, an engineer says he came face to face with her and a shooting victim. There was a guy on the ground, he had been shot, and the shooter was within 20 feet from him. And, um, and he was yelling, uh, come and get me. And I, I didn't understand what was going on at the time. Four people were injured in the shooting. Three of them shot and taken to local hospitals. In the end, authorities say she turned the gun on herself. Mark and Michelle, the Mountain View Police Department confirming tonight she was reported missing by her family before the shooting. In fact, officers found her sleeping in a Mountain View parking lot this morning, but say she answered questions and they let her go. Her family was notified that she had been located by police.